I wanted to find happiness. It's so weird because I got into stand-up comedy around the same time I got into Buddhism. Okay. Um, because the two go together so well. Um, and uh, I had never really been spiritual. I was an atheist. Okay. And I'd been an actress and a singer and did experimental theater and all sorts of stuff. Um, but in my 30s, I got into both around the same time. And What was the catalyst for that? Um, well, I wanted to... I wanted to find happiness. I wanted mm -hmm. to understand why, like, I was, you know, I'd been diagnosed with depression and anxiety in my 20s, and mm -hmm. I was put on medication that didn't quite work. I was misdiagnosed. And I got off of all of that, and I, I had a sneaking suspicion that um, I needed to do something else to find fulfillment and peace. And so I got yeah. into meditation and studied uh, Theravada and Vajrayana Buddhism and became a very serious practitioner all the while beginning to do stand-up in my 30s, which like people don't usually start stand-up in their 30s. Yeah. They usually start like when they're 18 or 28. But I was like, I'm going to do it now. Um, and it was it felt like a calling, both of both a spiritual path and standing on stage alone with a microphone felt like, I don't know, it, it, it didn't make sense to me at the time because I'd been a Shakespearean actress and I'd, you know, like all this yeah. stuff. But um but yeah, and then about, you know, five years in, I had a, you know, pretty big shift in consciousness where, you know, everything changes permanently, not a passing experience, but some would call that a non-dual awakening. Mm -hmm. And um, everything got turned upside down in my world. And I was like, I got to find a way to bring this together. And it would be a few more years until I was like, ah, the divine mess show, that's what it is. The people's perception, it's like, you know, well, she can't really be like a serious energy healer and somebody who could support me on my spiritual path mm -hmm. and be a stand-up comedian. But what I've noticed is that through the years, people have um, gotten into it. The further I go on the spiritual path, the more light everything becomes, the more funny it is. It's a cosmic joke, basically. Yeah. And, and of course, as you know, like the deeper you go on a spiritual path, if you're, you know, have a serious practice, the edges of the ego, the edges of the separate self get more and more diffuse. And so it's you don't care about like looking like a jerk in, or an idiot or like a weirdo yeah. in front of people or it doesn't. Um, yeah, you're less self-conscious. And I think that really lends itself to laughing at yourself and laughing at life. But mm -hmm. if, if we feel that we're this separate entity, separate from God, separate from life, separate from each other, and we've got to sort of, you know, hang on to that, we're going to get really pissed off if like something tries to rock it, you yeah. know. But if, if that solidity isn't there, then we're sort of like, okay, this is a ride. If you like this content, make sure that you like, subscribe, and comment below. And we also have amazing link right there for some cool product. I know you want to check it out. I know you want to click it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. You can do it. All right. Until next time, have a beautiful, blessed day. <laughs>